All right, Chapter 1, Introduction to PCB Design CAD, Computer Aided Design or CAD Design Suite. Before digging into details layout, we'll, we'll take a moment to discuss the Computer Aided Engineering CAE tools in general. Computer Aided Engineering tools cover all aspects of the engineering design with the drawing and analysis of the manufacturer. Computer Aided Design is a category of Computer Aided Engineering that is related to the physical layout and with the drawing development of system design CAD programs associated with electronic industry known as electronic or CAD or ECAD, Electronic Design Automata Automation, EDAA. Electronic Design Automation tools reduce the development time with the cost. They allow us to the design to be simulated with the analyzed product of the purpose of the manufacturing hardware. Once the design has been proven through the drawing simulations and analysis, this can be manufactured application. Even the manufacturer is known as the computer aided manufacturing tools. Computer aided manufacturing tools use software programs designed debt generated from the computer aided engineering tools to control automated manufacturing machinery to turn a design concept into in, in reality. So, does ORCAD cadence fill, fit into all this? Cadence owns or manages many types of CAD and CAD manufacturers. For um, products related with the electrical industry, including ORCAD Design Suite, ORCAD Design Suite can be purchased through resale such as EME or uh, EME Design Automatic Incorporated who package a different combination CAD and CAD application including capture piece slice piece spice layout and suit can to suit customers needs although the application can be all, all operate individually bundling with individual tools in one suite allow for the internal communication the ORCAD tools can also interact with the CAD CAD manufacturing tools such as Gerber tools Spectra and Algoro Chapter 11 covers these use the tools of with ORCAD. Um, capture is the centerpiece of the package for the axis of the premium electric um, EDA tool, electro electronic design uh, automation tool contained with the contains extent of the part libraries that may be the generate schematic standalone interact with piece space. Piece by layout and both simultaneous representation capture is shown in the figure one more and the pins of the capture can be mapped into the pins of a piece by model and or pins of the physical package for the layout. Piece by the of the computer aided engineering tool that contains the mathematical model of the performing simulations and layout CAD tool that converts symbolic schematic diagram into a um, physical representation of the design net list or are you to interconnect parts within the design connecting each part of the list. So the parts with the model and footprint in addition to being CAD, the tool layouts all the function front end of the CAD manufacturer tool with generated data for, with the other CAD manufacturers. All right, and this shows a simple figure one, one piece of the part. You have four pins. You have a symbol, a model. You have four pins in between the layout capture and the piece splice on the ORCAD. All right, those are the piece of parts. So the model, electrical, mathematics, characteristics, symbol, schematic, appearance, and captured layout and footprint, physical orient, orient interface, and that's all in the ORCAD A part. Tools operate manufacturing printed circuit board Gerber tool, for example, by combining all three applications in one package. Has, you have the powerful set of tools efficiently design, test, and build electronic circuits. The key successful project design and production is understanding PCB itself and knowing how to use the tools and build PCBs. Print circuit board fabrication. We know that how the PCB manufacturer so will have the better understanding of what we're trying to accomplish layout with the Y and PCB consists of the two basic parts of substrate with a board or printed wire with the copper traces. Um, the substrate with the provides the structure of the physical hole for the circuit component printed circuit wires in place with the provide electrical insulation between the conductive parts. Common type of substrate is the FR4 um, which stands for fabricated glass epoxy laminate. It's similar to older types of fiberglass board, but its flame-resistant substrates are also made with Teflon, ceramics, and special polymers. PCR layout, PCR cores, and layout stack up. During manufacturing, PCB starts up with a copper-clad substrate shown in Figure One Two A. Rigid structure of the C stage lamination, fully cured epoxy copper cladding, maybe copper. That's placed in the substrate copper foil is glued to the substrate with the thickness of the copper measured in ounces of the co copper per few square foot, whereas a 1.0 ounce foot squared of copper is approximately 1.2 to 1.4 mils inches thick. It's common to drop the foot squared, and it's common to drop foot squared and refer to the thickness only in ounces. For example, you can order a one ounce copper on a one eighth of an inch thick um, substrate. FR4 substrate. Substrate can have copper on one or both sides. Multi-layer boards are made up of one or more single double-sided substrates called cores. 
The cores of copper plated to epoxy laminate. The cores are glued together with one or more sheets per partially cured. Epoxy is shown. So you have your substrate and your copper cladding on the outside. And this is about the one three so of the core pre and cores and preg pre reg pre preg core C stage laminate B stage laminate in the pre cladding and the copper cladding. One three show of the sheets referred to in pre as pre preg and B stage laminate. One of once all of the cores are patterned. Described below, a line the entire um, assembly is fully cored in a heated press. There are three methods of the assembling cores of the making multi layer board. Figure 1 4 show the first two methods. An example the four routing um, layers, two plain layers. The figure 1 4 show the three double sided cores bound together with the two preg layers. While um, figure 1 4 show the same six layer made of two cores, which may have up to four inner layers bounded together with one preg layer. The outer layers of 1-4-B are copper foil sheet bonded to assembly with a pre-preg. Alright, 1-4 show of the two-sack method of the six-layer um, board multi-core outlet. Um, show the core, pre-preg core, pre-preg core, core. And uh, that has uh, six clads in it. Then over here it has uh, four clads and two foil pre-preg, um, two cores. Which is a multi core outer foil would be the foil on the um, B, A would be the outer clad. Routing layers figure 1 4 shown on the pattern copper segment, the plain layer shown on the solid lines, the inner layers pattern prior to bonding with the cores together, the outer layer pattern layer improv after the cores have been bound and curd. Most of the holes have been drilled because the outer layers are etched later, and because the copper foil is typically less expensive with the copper cladding than stacking up, shown in figure 1 4 B is more widely used. Third method, you the shovel fabrication techniques, highly complex board with fabricated illustrated figure 1 5 circuit board may have the typical four layer core stack up center with additional layers as multiple layer by layer over the top by using subsequent sequential lamination techniques. Techniques can be used to produce blind or blind or buried vivas um, as well. The typical plated through hole vivas non plated holes. Resistors and capacitors can also be embedded into the substrate. More will be discussed about blind vivas in later chapters 8 and 9. So here is um, a built up multi technology PC tech board top soldier mask plated through the whole viva, um, micro viva blind, paste filled micro viva blind. Um, up, uh, unplated hole. You have uh, your standard core stack up. Core, um, two build up, bottom build up, core preg, pre preg, core buried viva, and a blind laser micro via bottom bottom solder mask. All right, PCB fabrication process of the copper tray for the pad shown with the PCB produce the shovel selective to remove the copper cladding and full with two common methods to remove the unwanted copper wet acid etching and mechanical milling. Acid etching is more common with the manufacturer. Large quantity of the boards become with many boards can be made simultaneously. One drop of about wet etching is chemicals or hazardous. It must be replenished occasionally and depleted when the chemicals must be recycled and discarded. Milling is usually used for smaller production runs of the prototype boards. During milling, the traces or pads are formed and rotating bits around on the grinds. Unwanted copper from the substrate will, with either method, the digital method, the may, map is made with the copper pattern for the purpose of the CAD software, like ORCAD layout, is generated digital maps. Note, one, only one layer is considered in the following explanation of fabrication processes. Photolithography and chemical etching. Select the removing the copper from the etching process requires etching the unwanted copper while protecting wanted copper from the etching. Uh, from the etching, this production is provided with a polymer coating called Pro Photo Resist. They, th that is deposited on the surface of the copper cladding, as shown in Figure One Six. Photo Resist is patterned the same desired print circuit through process called photolithographing. A pattern, pattern resist product takes selected area of the copper with the etching and exposes the copper to the etch. So you have the uh, copper CU substrate. Resist copper clad board with photo resist. A two step photo lithograph pattern with a photo resist exposing the resi resist the light with a typical ultraviolet light, developing a selective removal of the chemical bath. There are two types of photo resist positive of the resist, negative resist. The positive of the resist exposed with the UV the V light and polymer breaks down can be moved in the copper. Firstly, negative resist shield of the UV light is removed. 
A mask is used to expel the desire part of the photo reserve the mask is specialized black and white photographic film with a glass photo plate or picture traits of the pads premium laser photo plotter. The two plot types of a mask are shown in figure one seven. The mask example trace pad connected to a pad. Figure one seven the A show of the positive of the mask you the expose the pod of the photo resist. Figure one seven the B show of the negative mask you the expose the negative photo resist mask where it will be repeated sometimes um producing on glass photo plates instead of film. The mask is placed on the photo resistor shown in figure 1.8. It's some of the exposed the UV light with the dark areas of the UV light and the white transparent areas allow the UV light to hit the photo resist which imprints the circuit image into the photo resist. A separate mask is used each layer of the circuit board or CAD layout generates the data that the photo plotter uses to make the ma these masks. So, um, so you have your photo Photolithograph mask is A is a positive mask, B is a negative ma uh, mask, and then a one eight would be a positive photo mask on a photo resistant circuit board. Another way to expose the photo is by using programmable laser draw and pattern directly onto the photo resist. The new technology is called laser direct imaging. And benefit of the laser direct imaging process is that you can use the same dev of the photo pliers but not ma no masks are required. Every photo resist has been exposed with the ease of the mask, ultraviolet light with the laser, it washed with the chemical called developer. This causes the photo resist of the resist to break for the during with the exposure exposed with the developer. In case of the negative resist, the UV light curves the resist only unexposed resist is removed with the developer. Common developers of sodium hydroxide for the positive resist and sodium carbonate for negative resist. One of the resists have been exposed with the developer. The circuit image made over the photo resist is left with the copper shown in figure 1.9. One nine shows the developed photo resist on copper. Next to the board is the etching with the acid solution shows ferric chloride, um, a sodium per, per, per The etching solution does not significantly affect the photo resist by attack of the bare copper removed it from the substrate, leaving behind the resist. Resist co coated copper is shown in figure 110. 110 shows the unwanted copper removed from etching. Some props of the, of the plated in tin alloy with the etch it resist. The tin alloy plating is most resistant etching to the prepared of the copper surface for the entire process. In this case, photolithographing process is used the selective plate with a circuit per pattern on the copper surfaces prior to etching. When polymer etch resists, you give the photo resist is clean with the copper with the, with the resist, stripping the leaving behind with the copper tray showing the final pattern copper when, um, Metal etching resists you for the plating with the typical left in place. Holes or lead uh, holes for leads, etc. are not etched into the pads because they are drilled after the core have been glued together later in this process to ensure proper alignment of the holes between the board layers. Figure eleven shows the copper pad on a tracing edge and resisting strip. Mechanical milling. As mentioned above, milling is an alternative to etching. Mill, uh, to mill the board, a computer numerical control machine is programmed with a digital map of the board, grinds away with the unwanted copper. The unwanted copper can be completely removed like that of figure 111. Or just enough copper may be removed to isolate with the pad, trace them from the bulk of copper is shown in figure 112. Moving only enough copper to isolate with the traces from the bulk over the copper reduces milling time and can affect the impedance of the traces. Figure 112 shows a mechanically milled trace. Layer registration. And other inner layers have been patterned with the cores are aligned with the called registration. The glue together the registration is critical because of the pads with each layer need to properly align with the holes they are drilled. The registration accomplishes even the alignment parts called futicles and tool holes, tooling holes in the board while sliding on the glute guide pins while the core is in play with the properly aligned with the heated press curve of the assembly. After assembly is carried, cur 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 holes under the drill but throughout the hole of the components leads in viva vivas. The drilling process inevitably heats the laminate due to the friction between the laminate and the high speed drill bit. This tends to soften the laminate and smear it across the walls of the drilled copper. After drilling processes are finished, the assembly is placed into a bath, etch back, back the laminate slightly and clean the faces of the copper pad walls. This is called laminate etch back or dismear. 
Whenever the holes have been the drill with the smear of physical path that exists between the path of the different layers, then figure 113A shows the non an electrical connection between them and the two electrical connections between the path of the different layer of the pad board placed into a play, plating bath of the coats inside of the holes of the copper with electrical connection to the path, the hence the term plated through the holes. The plating thickness is various by, by, th by typically about one millimeter thick. The cutaway view is figure 1413B shove the plated through the hole on an internal layer of the pre pre printed circuit board. The top bottom copper is always or sorry actually patterned after the plat pl plating process finished because the plating process would replace the areas where the copper had been removed. So figure 113A shows the non-plated through the hole um, copper plated. Uh, pl B shows plated through the hole. All right, not all layers are traced. Some of the layers are plain. Plain layers are typically able to provide low impedance resistance and duct with connections power over the ground, power and ground, and to provide easy access to power over the ground in any location on the board. Plain and layers impedance issue with the discussed in Chapter 6. The leads components are to continue with the grounding and power soldering them into plated through the holes since copper conducts heat well soldering to plain layer could require excessive amount of heat that could damage the components on our plating in the hole. Called the barrel thermal reliefs are used in shown figure 114 to the reduce the path of the heat condu conduction but maintain electrical continuity within the plane. Figure 114 shows the con connection with the plane layer through the thermal relief. Since ground and power line power planes are often the inner layers and single layers will likely to be above and below them. There will be ends of the viva that will run through the plane power plane layer the but must not touch it. In this case, the clearance area shown in figure 115 is etched into the plane layer around the viva to prevent connection to the plane. The clearance is usually larger than the normal pad size to ensure the plane stays isolated with the plated hole. Figure 115 shows the clearance area provided with the isolation between a plated hole and a plane. After the, through the holes are played with the top of the bottom layers apart pattern, it using photolithograph the process of the described in inner layers. And after outer core has been plattened, plate pattern for the incomplete trace of the plated through the holes can be tinned, although tinning is sometimes deferred until the later non plated holes, such as the mounting holes, may be drilled at this time. Next, the polymer layer is used to apply with the top of the bottom of the board. The layer shown in figure green is green and shown in figure 116 is called the solder mask or solid re or solder resist. Holes open and into the poly polymer with a photolithograph to over the pad. The holes of the components will be soldered to the board. The solder mask protects the top of the bottom of the copper from the oxidation and helps prevent solder bridges from forming between clothes and spaces. Pads. Sometimes opening when the solder mask is not they are not made over small density place viva called tenting a viva. Tented vivas are protected from having chemicals such as flux from being trapped inside of the hole. Tenting is also prevents solder migration into the hole which could lead to poor soldering joints on your small component on small components that are close to and connected to the viva. Our figure one sixteen shows the final layer of the soldering mask green and um, the silk screen white. Final markings called silk screen are placed on the board to identify where the components are placed. The silk screen is shown in figure one sixteen. Function or CAD layout PCB design process. Layout and is used with the PCB to generate the digital description of the board layer that the photo apply with the CNC machines used to manufacture the boards. They separate the layer of the brown and copper of the tray for the top of the bottom and, inner, and all inner layers. Drill hole side of the location, solder mass, silk screen, solder paste, play, part placement, board dimension. These layers are not portrayed identically in the layout. Some of the layers are shown in positive the perspective, meaning that you see where the software is placed onto the board, while other layers are shown in the negative perspective, which means that you will see where the software is what what you mean, what you see with the software is what is removed from the board layers represent with the positive view on the board outline routed copper silicone screen solder base assembly instructions. The layers represent the negative view of the copper plane layers drill the whole solder mass. Figure one seventeen show the routed Layers, top and bottom inner, for example, in the layout show the pod with the perspective. Um, background is black, and trace of the pads are on each layer. Uh, are a different color of the color and make it easier to keep the track of the visually. The drill holes are shown on the dedicated, um, dictated 
layer because of the mentioned above of the drilling process with the distinction time step that is performed in specific time during the manufacturing process. Figure 117 shows the copper routed layers um, in positive view. Figure 118 and 118B show the difference between physical copper plane or layer, plane layer, plane layer with a thermal viva negative representation layout. The view of the black background is actually the copper plane. The yellow areas indicate the copper is removed and as routed layers, the drill holes visible with the drilled layer. So, all right, you have your black background, which is actually the copper plane. The yellow should show the areas of the copper removed. And then show the A show the copper plane with a thermal relief and B with a negative view on the layout. Figure 119A show the solder mass pattern holes allowed with the access to the pad. Figure 119B show the negative representation used in the layout by the layout. Here's where with the negative perspective of the ground plane with the black background is used only actually with the polymer filler and the green circles are holes in the solder mask. Figure 120 shows an example of the drill pattern silk screen representation by layout. The trace is not shown. The dark red circles are location sizes of the drill holes. Negative view. The bright red symbols that show the conjunction of the drill chart. Figure 121. Able to give the ID numbers for the different drill tools of the white print is a silk screen we discussed above. Um. Alright, so 119 solder mass negative view A. The solder mask, the solder mask, and B, the negative view, and then the layout. Figure 120 circuit with the drill identifiers and silk screen PCB. 121 drill chart with the drill IDs and spe specifications. Alright, design files created by layout. Um, layout format dot MAX. When you design a board, layout works for the shape of the design format, efficient for the, your computer layout design with the max extension. When you're ready to format your board, layout po post process for the design converted into a format of the photo plotters the CNNC machines can use. They file these files are called Gerber files. Post process Gerber files. Post processing um, creates Gerber file. Each of the layer discussed above there can be as many as 30 different layer files into the layout generates the va describe various manufacturer aspects of your PCB. As for example, of these files with these their extensions and their function are listed in table 1-1. These are other layouts, layout generators that will be discussed in greater detail in the next two chapters. Alright, you have uh, top side assembly, top side, stop side, side solder paste, side silk screen, solder mask, top side copper using routing, in, inner layer 1 and 2 routing or plane, INX, inner layer routing or plane X, PRW power layer, GND ground layer, BOT bottom side copper, SMB bottom side solder mask, SSB bottom side silk screen, um, SPD bottom side solder paste, ASB bottom side assembly, DRD board outline information through tap dot tap drill information. All right, um, those are the Gerber layer files generated by layout. PCB assembly file layers and files. With these several layers file and files generated with the layout, but not part of the actual fabrication process. These layers are either the automatic assembly of a finished board or are mentioned. I'll only briefly hear the first layer of the solder paste layer of the use of the main contact mass selectively applying the solder paste to the PCP pads so that the components can be reflowed with the solder of the board. There may be solder paste and layer on the top side of the board, SPT, or one on the bottoms, uh, and one on the bottoms, SBPB. So, um, shown in table 1-1, one, one, the second file layer assembly which contains information automatic component placement machines pick and place machines as part of the position orientation of the board as the solder mass they made the assembly with the top side of the board and one of the bottom side assemblies uh print circuit board design various soldering assembly processes design chapter five purpose of this chapter has been to introduce you to process of the way which pc boards or pcbs are manufactured purpose of the next chapter is to show you how to use the orcad layout to design your board generate the files needed to manufacture your pcb page intentionally left blank Move on to chapter 2, Introduction PCB Design Flow by Example.